So we're going to do a, an interesting topic from a question on YouTube we got from a young woman about chivalry <laughs> and feminism. And she had noticed that the men at school that she's dating that are chivalrous are the ones that play the slut card, that shame you, that disrespect you. And so she's like, can you have chivalry and feminism? Can they coexist? Because she's found that the guys that are chivalrous actually are chivalrous because they think kind of less of you. Well... In the 70s, we said chivalry just means we're going to not get equal pay because that we're in, in deficient. Yeah, it's yeah. condescending. I hold the door open for men and women. Yeah, like if I'm somewhere, I always open up the door. Yeah. Cause I'm, and if somebody's right behind you, yeah, you, you hold, hold it, it open. That's just good manners. So I think what we have to say is that chivalry is dead and it should <laughs> die. And that good manners apply to both men and women. Yeah, like if I notice that, like when I'm on the subway with Grayson, men have better manners in general. And I, I expect manners from women because I give manners. Well, they're, they, they're more mannerly because they see you with a baby. And if you have a, oh, if you have yeah. a baby, you're a legitimate woman. Now, if you're an uh -huh. old woman, it's like, <laughs> fuck you, and they, they shove you out of the way, but you're also a good-looking young woman. Oh, so they, yeah, I got it, Mill. Got it, okay. Well, I always said that when I was first practicing law, there were women that I worked with that liked it that when a woman entered the room, all the men stood up. And older women would say, oh, I like that, I like it. it's respectful. For me, if when I enter a room, every man has to stop what they're doing and get up, no. I'm disrupting the flow of business. No. Now they have to treat me differently. I'm a pain in the fucking ass. So you know what? They don't want me in the corporate environment. And you will not get paid equally. Yeah. So I was like, no, no, no. I had to go out of my way. It's like, treat me like an equal. Yeah. That's all. I well, don't want any special treatment. So that's when we say, <laughs> you know? I want to be one of the boys. Yeah, I can pay for my dinner. I can pay for my drinks. But here's the thing. <laughs> and I, don't, when, I can hold my own door open. When we go out on a date, we have to then also be willing to pay for half of whatever it takes. Well, that's an easy way also to get out of the fucking for dinner thing where it's like, <laughs> a, a, and not just men, but if someone takes you out, then you're expected to compensate physically. At least a hand job, if not a blow job. <laughs> you know? And if you think about it, it's kind of sad. It is. It is. It's, 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 you're doing business with sex. But, but you're not saying anything. It's never stated. No. Oh, it's I know. All, it's all just it's assumed. It's pretty and ridiculous. So let's agree that polite applies to men and women. Yeah. And that uh, don't push old ladies out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> and don't hit on women, the good-looking women, with babies. You know, the other day I was... I was walking down the street with the stroller and this guy like pulled over his car and he was trying to chat me up and I just looked at him like he was crazy. It was like, I'm, I'm sitting here with a baby. Oh, that doesn't matter. Come on. Like that's just bad taste. Well, they, they know that there's such a thing as a babysitter and you don't always have the baby. Oh, that's true. Okay, so maybe that's it. But I, I didn't get that feeling. I, I think sometimes people feel like, oh, you're a single mom, that's easy. You're ear easy. Yeah. Ah. Oh, and so that. it's all about expectations of women, right? And the Madonna whore dichotomy, which is what we're talking about. So if she's the Madonna, you treat her with respect. You get up when she comes in the room. You say, no, no, would no. you like, uh. if she's a whore, then you can treat her like that. If she's going to suck your dick on the first date. Ah. No, if, she, if you treat her like a whore, she's beneath you. We're trying to get equal here. We're trying to get equality. Mm -hmm. That's what feminism is going for that I'm a person, he's a person. And as both. a person, I'll treat you with respect. Yes, always. That's it. Always. And age doesn't doesn't enter in just because you're young and gorgeous. You get a special treatment because yeah. you're, you're old and handsome. I think I'm handsome. <laughs> it should be because you're a person. You know, yeah. like I treat all people yeah. as equals. Yeah. And, you know, there are better reasons to hate people I came than gender the, and race and I, orientation. I came in the apartment uh, yesterday and there's this young boy behind me. And I held the door for him, and he said, oh, thank you. Men do like it when you're polite to them. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yes. Thank you. It is nice. It it's is like nice. It is, it's acknowledging someone else and bowing your head a little bit. Like, hey, we're in a community. 
We're and sharing. Look, it's a sharing thing. Yeah. It's not ownership or beneath the. It's not dominance. Everything is always dominance and submission. <laughs> it's so boring. Yeah. <laughs> it's not so even. everybody, take note that to be equal, we're both polite. We pay our own way. We have sex when we want to, and we can agree, and we can also agree to disagree. Yay!